thought you'd be bigger. But you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh. I'm pretty sure I do. Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. You would not listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, fine. My turn. Some of the most exciting news I've had during this COVID-19 issue has come up. Sony has announced they will be making a God of War movie. Now y'all know I'm over here geeking out because that is one of my favorite video games in the history of all video games. I got the scoop on who they're planning on casting as Kratos and we're gonna talk about it right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you all get them. Follow me on Instagram and send me stories. My subscriber sent me this story and I went on ahead and read up on it and got this video up here. So please make sure you do the same. Let's jump into it. Uh, how incredibly disappointing. Come on then. So for you all who are not familiar with God of War, it has been one of Sony's biggest video games that they've been producing over the last 15 years. They had it on PS2, PS3, PS4, and Sony is also gonna make one for PS5 when the new one drops. Sony announced that they will be making a God of War movie and they're gonna do everything they can to stay as close to the source material of the video game as possible. They announced that they're gonna have a $150 million budget to make the movie and to give you guys a comparison, Marvel spent $150 million to make Black Widow. And in the video game, what made it so good was all the great elements of the video game and Kratos' is dynamic, Kratos and some of the things you had to do for a power-up. I mean, they was letting him have sex for a power-up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I look at this movie similar to 300, um, Clash of the Titans, that type of thing, if you can put it on a big screen. But video gamers are oftentimes upset because when you try to adopt a video game to the big screen, you can't really stay true to the video game. One of the movies that has, one of the video game genres that has done that has been Sonic. That got a lot of big reviews, a lot of buzz, and it was a good movie because it stuck pretty close to the source material of the video game, this last Sonic. Here's who's been cast or who they're in talks with to be Kratos. 
You've got Jason Momoa, which I think is a fantastic pick, and Dave Bautista. I think Jason Momoa would be a better fit just because he has more of an elongated, lean body, which is similar to Kratos versus Dave Bautista. And I think that we've seen Jason Momoa be Carl Drogo on Game of Thrones. We have seen him play Aquaman. We've seen Jason Momoa. We know he can handle these roles. And I'm not saying Batista couldn't handle it either because Batista's got the bald head. You just had to slap a beard on him. But I think either one of these guys would be an outstanding casting for Kratos because at the end of the day, we want a good movie. And we know that they're going to have to change it a little bit. But don't change all the elements of what made the video game good with the story because that was some of the best part of the video game. Now, the original story was written by David Self, but it has been adopted by Mark and Patrick Melton, who have done horror movies. So maybe this movie is going to have a kind of a scary feel. Now, this is what they're saying is of the utmost importance for their script. The movie is set to dive into Kratos' life right after all the incidents happened that killed his entire family. Kratos is going to be a Spartan army leader, a human being. This is before he get all the powers. So they're going to be telling the backstory. And he's going to wind up being tricked by Ares. My video game folks know that's the first god he killed. And we would love to see Ares on the big screen besides just being in a Wonder Woman movie. Bring Ares on the screen with Kratos. The movie is supposed to be directed by Stephen Danae, who did Daredevil Season 1, which I like. But he also did Pacific Rim, which hell to the gnaw, man. No way. I ain't feeling that policy. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? I think that doing a God of War movie could be just as big as the Marvel Universe because you could make movie after movie after movie. And the way they're talking about doing this backstory kind of reminds me of how Marvel was slipping in snippets of how Thanos came to power. You could do the whole backstory, then you could get to the point where Kratos finally beats Zeus. It could be like a big movie. You could even have Zeus being the big baddie that's looming around watching what Kratos is doing as he's attacking Ares and fighting Ares and some of the other gods and have that be a movie that's going to come in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that we've got something good to look forward to, but leave me your comments on what you think is going to happen with this movie. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life gain. Let me know what else you guys are going to be watching um, over the COVID-19 issue. I hope you all are being safe and staying indoors so that we can bend this curve. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.